And the search is continuing for the mum of three, Gaynor Lord, after she was last seen at 2.45pm on Friday. Her belongings were found scattered in various locations throughout a local park and in the River Wensum. Well, her white work shirt, yellow tank top and jewellery were found spread out at different sites across the city centre park, whilst her olive-coloured coat was found in the water. On the scene for us is GB News national reporter Theo Chacomba. Theo, it's been a, thank you for joining us. It's been a number of days now that the police have been searching for this missing woman. What's the latest on their investigation? Yes, well, a very good afternoon to you both. It's now the fifth day uh, that she has been missing. She was reported missing on Friday evening. And as you've just mentioned, on Friday afternoon, she was uh, seen leaving uh, the city centre here in Norwich, uh, leaving the department store that she worked in. And in the last few days, uh, several of her belongings have been found. And on Tuesday, uh, further belongings uh, were found. And here at Wensum Park, just at outside of the city centre, uh, the police uh, began to search this area. So that was yesterday. And a specialist dive team is currently on the scene at the moment. Uh, I don't know if you can see just over my right shoulder, there is a white tent there and police have been uh, going around that area uh, trying to look uh, for, for something uh, for which you can see uh, from the distance. And just across the road uh, to my right, uh, there's a, a specialist uh, dive team. Uh, further members of them are just over there and they've been going in and out of the park but of course it's a concern uh, for her family she is a mother 55 year old they'll be looking uh, and lo looking and wondering uh, what has happened uh, and looking for further updates uh, from the police now Norfolk police's um, police commander uh, Wes Hornigold said our working hypothesis at the moment is that Gaynor is in the water that's what we're working towards and they also went on to say it's a missing person inquiry there's no evidence at the moment to suggest that there's any third party involvement here. This is a significant operation in terms of searching both the park and the waterways. Searching water is quite challenging and what I've seen since I've been here is a boat going up and down the river here which runs through Norwich but of course for the moment uh, investigations here continue. Well, Theo, thank you for bringing us the very latest on the investigation. We'll be back with you in the next hour to see uh, if that investigation is, uh, is, is turning up with anything. But, of course, a, a desperately sad situation. Yes, so joining us now is former Met Police Detective Peter Blexley. Uh, Peter, are you there? Yes, I Fantastic. Now, what happens in these sorts of situations from a police perspective? policing perspective, a woman last seen on Friday in a park, items of her clothing found in various locations. What might be going on in the investigation right now? Well, as we know, the police are deploying lots of assets here. They've used helicopters, they've used drones and, of course, underwater search teams with sonar equipment. So many echoes of the tragic disappearance of Nicola Bully back in February of this year, where items were also left by the waterside. We know that in that case, the police came in for some quite severe criticism about how they dealt with personal information and information that they released to the media. I'm sure that Norfolk Constabulary will have learnt lessons from Lancashire Police, one would expect, so perhaps that's why they're being quite cautious in release of information, whilst all the time their primary objective will be to find Gaynor Lord. Mm. It seems that their working hypothesis, as Theo Chacomba was telling us, is that very sadly, uh, Gaynor Lord's body seems to be in the water. They're searching the water. I, I, I would expect at, at this point, few people are holding out much hope uh, that, that, that she's still alive. Yes, although I'm sure the relatives, her three children and all those who knew and loved her are clinging to the hope that there may be some other explanation, that she may be alive. And we've already heard pleas from the children urging her to make contact 
and return home. However, perhaps unlikely, that option may be. It is, of course, a deeply, deeply worrying time for the family and the police will be feeling the pressure. Theo, your reporter, is up there, of course, and there are other media outlets that have sent reporters there, so their work is very much under the microscope, subject to scrutiny. And I'm sure that Norfolk Police will be keen to avoid the kind of criticism that their colleagues from Lancashire came in for. Mm. Absolutely, they will. Thank you very much indeed, Peter Blexley, former Met Police detective. Thank you very much for your time.